Hi, I'm Kane Roberts, and you're watching Duke TV. What I decided to do was make this record uh, kind of video centric. In other words, do as many videos as I can. I've done a lot of stuff in um, in broadcast design and, and worked a lot of that software and cameras and stuff like that. So the the joining of visuals and and music, I think, are one of the most uh, engaging events that take place in, in entertainment. So the video I did with um, Alice and Alyssa, the uh, beginning of the end, you'll notice that there's nobody pantomiming playing music. There's no drone flying around outside while the band makes believe they're playing, which is fine. I mean, I, I, it's, a, it's a great visual. I decided to do something a little different, more acting, more just sort of uh, generating story in, in their performances and stuff. We're going to do a lot of videos, maybe, maybe two more, three more, yeah. While I was recording, after listening to my first vocal performance, I suddenly started hearing Alice uh, singing the first verse, and then part of the second verse, and then actually being in a duet with me. Everybody was saying to me, oh, dude, you know, the scheduling's gonna be difficult. I called up Cheryl, because Alice doesn't have a cell phone, and she said, all right, here, you know, here he is, and he got on the phone, he went, yeah, and I said, I've got a new song that I'm doing, would you sing on it? And he went, sure, he goes, I'm in town. He said, I'll come right over. So he, he literally came over the moment I called him to sing on it. And he did absolutely incredible. I mean, he's one of those performers. His genius is a lot often hidden when you're speaking with him because he's one of the nicest people that you'll ever meet, one of the most generous people that you'll ever meet. But when it's time for him to perform, his performance is always incredible. And that's because Alice has got this really sort of vibrant character, this vibrant uh, genius that's like a little bit under the surface. I, I did a song with him called Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness. You know, we were hanging out at my place and he was sitting on the couch and he was eating Doritos or something with a piece of paper. And he got up after 15, 20 minutes and he said, here's the lyrics to Prince of Darkness. And if anybody um, listens to those lyrics, they're absolutely stunning. They're, they're the most incredible uh, uh, flow to them and, and the content is, is just really intense. And that's the way he is, you know, when, when you get his attention and he feels the push to do something, he'll do something great. Here I've got this song, it's very tightly put together, I've got Alice Cooper. What if Alyssa drops from the sky and detonates and blows the whole thing up? I've been following Alyssa for a while with The Agonist and now with Arch Enemy. I got in touch with her, I said, would you want to do the song? She said, well, let me hear it. As soon as I sent it, you know, a lot of times you think it's going to take a month or a couple of weeks, you know, whatever. Um, she got back the same day and said, yes, I'll do this. She did that, and then as we started to do these sort of preliminary mixes, I just felt like the luckiest guy in the world, you know? I never take anything for granted, you know? It's like when Alice's people first called me to go down and meet them, you know, I just feel blessed for stuff like that. I always tell people, if my ego starts to take off, I always get smacked down. I'll never forget, I started thinking I was like this incredible guitar player. I, I got it covered and everything. And then I moved to California to work with Alice, and there are so many amazing guitar players doing stuff I never even imagined. So uh, I just had to like practice my ass off and get it together so I think the only thing you can do the only leap of faith that you can have is you have to say if I work hard enough the world will beat a path to my door and I'm a perfect example of that because if you think about it the way I looked back then I weighed 230 pounds and you know, the only band in the world that would ever hire me would have been Alice Cooper and somehow he found me Are you sure I can't come in oh no honey it's for living only I'm on tour with Alice, 
And I had already finished recording my first record with Michael Wagner from uh, Skid Row and Metallica and all that. So back in those days, you know, we didn't have iPhones, we didn't have all that other stuff. So if I'm going to see an image, they would mail a photo of the cover. The first thing I saw was I look at the cover and it said uh, Cake Roberts. They, they wrote my, na my name in, in flames. So it looked like K-A-K-E instead of K-A-N-E. The N looked like a K. So everybody I showed in the band, they said, yeah, your name's Cake Roberts now. So, And then the other thing was, it's supposed to be a motorcycle, you know, behind me. But instead, it was kind of like a, a Vespa, you know? It was like this little scooter, you know? And I, I, I called the guy and I said, look, I, you know, couldn't you get like a Harley or something? And he said, well, no, those, you know, we were looking for photos. I said, you couldn't find a photo of a, of a Harley? And he, I said, you got to do a different motorcycle. And I said, what color is it? Because it was black and white. And he said, it was green. And I said, I, I, I don't want a green bike. Maybe a month later, another cover shows up. And now it says Hain Roberts. They, they messed up the first K, so now it looks like an H. They have a different scooter behind me, and I guess it's yellow. So I, I said, what, what the fucking citrus colors? What are you guys doing? You know, so it, it, we ended up with the cover that it is. I, I don't know. I always thought it was kind of silly, but um, that picture was taken by a guy named Peter Cronin. And actually, that photo was taken uh, the first night of um, the Nightmare Returns tour. That was our first show at uh, Detroit in uh, the uh, Joe Louis Arena. Before Alice and I met, we immediately became best friends, which was very important at that time for his life because he had just come out of a very serious rehab. You know, Alice and I, when we were first hanging out, I said, look, you know, I don't think people should think, oh, here's Alice Cooper, and he's playing his songs again, and he survived rehab. I thought he should come, you should come back as a new, kind of a nuclear version. And, you know, if you look around you, you know, the bands like Ozzy and bands like that that were just killing it at the time. So we have to find musicians that can play that stuff. We have to sort of rethink some of these songs. So if you watch that show, you can hear how we start the song, Welcome to My Nightmare. And then once the song starts, we just kick into just heavy metal overdrive. I just changed it so that it was just so heavy. Alice kicks open this gate and comes out, and he totally handled it. I mean, you know, we, we had done some dress rehearsals, but Alice was just on fire that first night. Welcome to my I never got a notion that Alice was afraid when he came back. Coming back and Alice isn't drinking, you know, he's, he's completely uh, straight on, you know, drugs, nothing. So he gets back in front of 20,000 people and, you know, for him, that's what he does. He comes back and he does it and he, and he, he kicked ass. But sometimes I'd look over at Alice and the guy that I had been hanging out with on the bus just wasn't there anymore, you know. I think maybe if he had any questions in his head would be if that character would emerge when he hit stage. But, uh, man, did he come in and perform, you know. I'm working on, you know, my, my, my next record, which I know is going to probably be just in a lot of ways a little heavier than this one. You know, and I want to mention the guy that produced the record with me, this guy Alexander Track. He did, you know, he was a big influence on how the new normal Sounds. We're going to get in the studio and, and do another album, uh, you know, really soon. And I'll see if I get lucky getting some big people to come in and help me out again, because I need help.